So let's consider the second example where we need to find the volume of this object, of the solid. So in order to get this object, what we need to do is we need to draw this function y is equal to the square root of x, which is this curve, right? So, I, so this is kind of part of parabola, right? But only half of this because x and y or both of them should be positive, right? So here, if you get any x, it should be always positive y, right? So that is why this is just a half of this parabola. So now I need to rotate this curve around the x-axis in order to get this object, this solid, okay? So similar to this ball, to this bottle, right? I need to find out its volume, okay? The idea is again here in order to, to make a lot of slices, and by finding the volume of each of the slices, I can find the volume of overall object, right? Yes. Yes, so again, we need to cut this at some point x, okay? At some, I choose some point x here, I cut this here, and I would like to find the area of that slice, okay? The area of the slice is equal to the radius in the square multiplied to the pi, right? So how I need to find the radius? Yes? How to find the radius? The, what is the length of this green line? This is the y coordinate of this point, right? Of this point. If I give you x, for example, x is equal to the 1 over 4, what will be the coordinate of this point? 1 over 4 and square root of 1 over 4, right? The heat of this green line will be just the square root of x, right? So actually, if, I, if you choose any point x, so the coordinate of this point will be equal to the x and square root of x. You understand this? So if you find out, find out the coordinates of the points, on this line at some point x, you just need to substitute those x's to the equation of this line, equation of this curve, right? So you've got this point x here. If you would like to find the coordinate of this point on this curve, you just need to substitute the x to the equation. It gives you the y coordinate of the point, right? So x coordinate is x, y coordinate is square root of x, okay? The height of this green line is equal to the square root of x, right? y coordinate of the point. Okay, what will be the area of this red part? The area of this red part, which obviously depends on x, is equal to the radius, which is square root of x, in the square multiplied to the pi, right? Or simply, pi multiplied to the x, okay? So depending on where you're cutting, you can find the areas of the slices, right? For example, if you decide to cut that the x is equal to the one, the area of the slide will be equal to the just pi, okay? If you decide to cut this here at the x is equal to the zero, the area will be zero, right? We've got a function, right? You basically wrote a program in a computer. So input is the x, output is the area of the slice where you cut it, this object at the x, okay? Now what I need to do is I need to integrate this area, the function of the area, a of x, dx. So from where to where the x changes? So from where to where I can cut the slice? From zero to the one, right? So this will be the integration of the pi x, pi x dx from zero to the one. This is pi x square over t from zero to the one. So this will be pi over t. Okay, so the volume of this solid is equal to the pi over t. So let's do one more example. So let's say we're given curves. Y is equal to the X cubed. Y is equal to the A. And X is equal to the zero. So first of all, we need to draw them. So do you remember the curve of the y is equal to the x cubed? Yes? It's like this. Do you remember? Okay. So what is y is equal to the a? So you need to tell me the line, right, or the curve, where all the coordinates of the points have, all the y coordinates of the points are a. 
What can you find out? All the coordinates of the points on this line have the y coordinate to be equal to eight. Just a straight line, which is horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, right? So at the y is equal to a, it will be this kind of line, right? So no matter where you choose the point, what kind of point you choose on this line, the y coordinate is always a. Yes? So what is x is equal to zero? Is this one, right? No matter which point you choose on this line, the x coordinate will be equal to the zero, right? So the coordinate of this point is equal to the zero and one, for example. This is zero and two. This is, for example, zero and eight, right? For all the points, the x coordinates are equal to the zero, right? Now, you've got this kind of region. Now, what you need to do is, you need to rotate this around the y-axis. Okay, rotate this object around the y-axis, okay? And you will have this kind of object, right? Like this. And find its value. Okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because this region is between the three curves, is this only this region, right? Yes? The region between the three curves are only this region, so this will be roughly this kind of object. Right? We need to find its values. Okay? So, again, the idea is to make the slice, slices, right? And find the, by finding the volume of each of the slices and summing them over here, we can find the overall volume. Now, could you please tell me, should I do the horizontal slice or the vertical slice? The vertical, horizontal slice is better, right? So if I do this horizontal slice, then I can find the area easier because this will be the circle, right? If I do the vertical slice, every time it will be like, a, like a, some object which will be really difficult for me to find the area, right? So it is better to do now the horizontal slice, right? So let's choose some volume. So now the function of the area will, be, will depend on y, right? What does it mean? Depending on which point I'm choosing on the y-axis, the area will be different. The area of the slice will be different, right? So let's choose some point here, y. Some y, I choose this, and I will cut this, okay? So this will be circle, right? What is the area of the circle? The area of any circle is equal to the pi multiplied to the radius in the square, right? So in order to find the radius of the circle at some point y, I need to find the distance of this point, right? The distance of this point to the y-axis, right? So first of all, like it, let me explain this one more time. So for example, if you have the point with the coordinates t and three, what is the distance between this point and the x-axis? It's three, right? This is three because of the y-coordinate, y-coordinate. So what is the distance between this point and the y-axis? T, right? X axis. T, X axis. Okay? So in order to find the distances between the points and the axis, you just need to know its coordinates. Right? Now, previously, if I give you the X, you could tell me the, what is the Y coordinate of the point by just plugging this X to the function. Right? Now, if I give you the Y, right? Because I'm fixing the Y now, right? I would like to cut it here, and you decide which Y to choose. Right? So what will be the x coordinate of this point? So this will be the cubic root of the y, right? Cubic root of the y and the y, right? The coordinate of this point is, is like this, right? If you know what is the y, you can find the x coordinate by putting this to the equation again, right? So since the equation is equal to the y is equal to the x cubed, if you find the x from here, it will be cubic root of the y, right? x coordinate of the point will be equal to the cubic root of the y, right? So what is the radius of the circle? Radius of the circle is cubic root of the y, right? x coordinate. Analogously to that picture, do you see this? So the distance between the point and y-axis is equal to the x coordinate of the point, right? So now, you've got this point, you've got the coordinates of this point, right? The distance between the y-axis and this point is equal to the x coordinate, which is cubic root of the y. 
Okay. So what will be the area of this blue circle? The area of this blue circle is equal to the radius in the square multiplied as a pi, right? So basically y and the power of 2 is 3 multiplied as a pi, right? Now I've got the area of the function of the area which depends on y, right? It doesn't depend on x, it depends on y. So if I would like to find a volume, I need to make a lot of horizontal slices now, right? So I need to integrate a of y with respect to the y. And how the y changes? From which value of the y to which value of the y I need to integrate? From 0 to the a, right? You need to make the slices starting 0 until a, okay? So this will be the integration of the a of y from 0 to the a. So this is pi multiplied to the y in the power of 2 is 3, integration from 0 to the 8 dy, right? So let's integrate this. So first of all, we need to find the antiderivative of this function, right? So this is y in the power of 2 plus 3, sorry, 2 over 3 plus 1, right? Divided to 2 over 3 plus 1, right? Then I need to put the values from 0 to the 8, right? So if you put the, if you calculate this, what kind of value you will get? So this is 3 pi over 5, yes? Multiply to the y in the power of 5 over 3, yes? So we need to put the values from 0 to the 8. So this is 3 pi over 5 multiplied to the 8 in the power of 5 over 3 minus 3 pi over 5 multiplied to the 0 in the power of 5 over 3 to the... Uh, perfect, yes? That's it. So what is the 8 in the power of 5 over 3? How, how do I know this kind of power? So first of all, I know that if I, if I have the power in, in terms of like a 1 over 3, it means that a cubic root of the 8, right? What is the cubic root of the 8? It's 2, right? So 8, 8 and the power of 1 over 3 would be 2, right? So 8 and the power of 5 over 3, it is 2 and the power of 5, right? So do you, do you understand why? So this is because of this rule. So 8 and the power of 5 over 3 can be written as 8 and the power of 1 over 3 and the power of 5, right? Do you remember? If you power some number and power this again, it means that you can just multiply the powers, right? So 2 in the power of 1 over 3 is 2. Then power in the power of 5 is 32, right? So this will be 3 pi over 5 multiplied to the 32 which is 60, 96 pi over 5, okay? The volume of this object is equal to the 96 pi over 5, okay? Now let's do one more difficult problem. So these problems are very easy, right? I mean, they are easy. So let's do one, one difficult one, or more, a little bit more difficult. So find a region enclosed by the two curves, y is equal to x, and y is equal to the x square. Okay, first of all. So let's find a region between x and x square. So what is the curve, what is the graph of the y is equal to the x? It will be a simple line, like this, right? Now, what is the curve of the y is equal to the x squared, this is parabola, right? So let's draw only this part of the parabola. The intersection point here is, do you remember how to find the intersection point? So we need to solve the system, right? So y is equal to the x and y is equal to the x squared. If you solve the system, it tells you the coordinates of the intersection point, right? x coordinate and y coordinate. So in order to solve the system, let's substitute this first equation to the second. It will be x squared is equal to the x, right? If you put the x square or x to the right, it will be x square minus x is equal to the zero. This is equal to x multiplied to x minus one is equal to the zero. So x one will be equal to the zero, x two is equal to the one, right? So how to find the y coordinates? You need to put this axis to one of the equations here, right? If you put the x to be equal to the zero to the first equation, what you will have is a y one, zero, right? If you put the y x2 to be equal to the 1 to one of the equations, what you will have is a y, y2, 1. 
right? The two intersection points are 0, 0, and 1, and 1. Why? Because the coordinates of the points are 0, 0, 1, and 1, right? Now, you've got this region, right? So previously, we've learned how to find the area of this region, right? Now, what you have to do is, you've got this region, you need to rotate this region around the x-axis and find a volume. So rotate this around the x-axis and find a volume. No, it will, it will be kind of corners where the inside is, is not the straight. Similar to this, or not the similar, exactly the same, okay? So this is the region, okay? If I rotate this around the x-axis, I will have this kind of corners. But do you see this like a dashed line? Yes? So inside of this corners is not a straight, okay? Inside is kind of like this, okay? The inside of the corners is like this. So this is the corners where the inside is like this. So we need to find its volume, okay? Now, the idea is the same again as previous time. We cut this vertically at some point x, okay? If you cut this here, for example, right? Do you understand this? So you cut it here, then what kind of object you will have? You will have the object here, kind of this, right? Kind of washer, kind of donut. Have you ever eaten the donut, right? Kind of donut. I need to find this volume of this donut, okay? Depending on where you're cutting, the like a thickness of the donut will be different. Okay? So for example, if you cut it here at the end, it will be donut only with a circle, right? Be call in the middle. If you cut it here, for example, this will be like a donut with a smaller hole, right? Depending on where you're cutting, this will be different shape of the donut. Okay? Now I just need to find out the area of this donut. How to find the area which is with the red? I can find the area of the bigger circle and subtract the area of the smaller circle, right? Yes? Okay. So how to find the areas of the circles? I need to find the radiuses, right? Here and here. So for example, if you decide to cut this object at some point x here, okay? So you can find the radius here until here. So let's see, what is this distance, by the way? So let's assume you decided to cut at the x. So this is the y coordinate of this point on the curve, right? So the y coordinate here of this, of this point. What are the coordinates of this point at the point x? This is x, and y coordinate will be equal to x squared, right? Do you understand this? Because this curve is equal to the y is equal to the x squared. So now we can find the radius of this circle, right? of this circle, let's see. What will be the length of this red one? This is the y coordinate of this point, which is equal to x and x, right? So the radius of the bigger circle is x. The radius of the smaller circle is, e is equal to the x squared. What will be the area in between? So this is the area of the bigger one, right? Here, the area of the bigger one is x squared multiplied to the pi, or x squared x squared in the square multiplied to the pi minus x in the square multiplied to the pi, right? Or basically pi multiplied to x squared minus x squared. Or oh, vice versa, sorry. So this is equal to x. The, the, bigger, the bigger one has the radius r, x, uh, x sorry, right? The, the bigger one. The red one has the radius x. So the area will be x squared multiplied to the pi. And the smaller one has the radius x squared, so this will be x in the power of 4 multiplied to the pi. So this will be x squared minus x squared multiplied to the pi. This is the function of the area, okay? So depending on where you're cutting, you will have different shapes, and the area of the shape will be equal to this function, okay? Now you can tell me, what is, is it the negative number at the end? Why this is positive? I'm subtracting the 
x and the power of 4 from the x and uh, x squared. Is it the causative? Huh? No, no, x, x, I, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we are in the x takes the value between 0 and 1. Okay, because you see the intersection point here was the 1 and 1, right? x changes from 0 to the 1. With all the values of the x between 0 and 1, the first power will be smaller than the second power, right? For example, if you take x is equal to the 1 over t, what will be the second power? 1 over 4. What will be the fourth power? 1 over 16, right? Which is bigger? 1 over 4 is bigger, right? Okay, so now what I have to do is I just need to integrate this function, a of x, with respect to the x, where x changes from 0 to the 1. Could you please tell me why the x changes from 0 to the 1? Because this point has the coordinates 1 and 1, right? I need to integrate this from here to here, right? So from 0, x changes from 0 to the 1. You understand this? Okay, let's integrate this. So this will be, let me take the antiderivative right immediately. It will be x cubed over 3 minus x5 over 5 multiplied to the pi from 0 to the 1. If I put the 1, it will be 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 multiplied to the pi. If I put the zeros, it will be simply 0, right? So the area is equal to t over 15 multiplied to the pi. Okay, 